shamed cyclist Lance Armstrong taping an interview with Oprah today. Why Oprah and why now? Reid Albergotti joins us now from New York to explain. Uh, Reid, thanks for joining us. Uh, you were no on the sports beat for a while and uh, you, you know uh, the cycling beat very well. Uh, why, why is he going on Oprah? Well, I mean, presumably he wants to go there because it's not going to be, I mean, that's where you can really speak to the entire country. I mean, you don't get any more mainstream than Oprah. And from what I've heard, he finished taping about a half an hour ago in Austin. So the interview is done and presumably he admitted to using performance enhancing drugs and, and cheating and cycling. Okay, and, and you've, you've actually reported on, um, on allegations of, the, of that in the past, and this brings it uh, full, um, f full w way through that. Now, um, part of, the, of him going on there is, um, as uh, Jason Gay, your, um, our colleague, wrote, um, you, 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 um, and he was quoting somebody else, you, 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 go, you don't go on Oprah to confess, you go on Oprah to be forgiven. Is that part of the rehabilitation process? Well, I mean, absolutely. I mean, no question uh, from people we've spoken with, Lance Armstrong wants to be forgiven. In fact, I have spoken to some of his former enemies that he has called and, and actually asked for forgiveness from uh, in, in recent days. So, you know, not only is he doing the public component of that on Oprah, he's, he's also making a uh, making some personal calls as well. So this is, uh, you know, for him, I think this is really a, a tour of redemption now. Now, this is a worldwide exclusive for the Discovery Channel, and it's going to be um, st streamed um, online as well, I understand. understand. What is part of the, um, the, the, the marketing thing here? What's, what's going on? Well, I mean, Discovery Channel owns the Oprah Winfrey Network, and they're, you know, they're using this to you know, sell ads all over the world. I mean, this is a huge get for, for Oprah. Um, the whole deal, as you'll see in our our uh, story upcoming in the next uh, in the next couple of days. I mean, the whole deal sort of happened in Hawaii. Armstrong had met and and spoken with Oprah in Hawaii. So, I mean, I read in Forbes that this deal is worth millions of dollars to uh, to Oprah and the Discovery Channel network. So this is this is big media business here. It is big media business. Um, back to back to Lance Armstrong, um, if you can, yes or no, does this redeem him in the eye of the public? Um, I guess we haven't seen it yet, but do you think it stands a chance? I don't think so. I think there's more uh, there's more that he needs to do because it's not just that you know he cheated and lied about it. What he's accused of doing is is actually operating and being at the center of a very sophisticated doping ring and pressuring others to use drugs. And then when they told the truth, trying to discredit or, or even destroy those people that went up against him. Okay. That's, um, we'll see what happens. Thank you very much, uh, Reid Albergotti, joining us from New York. We appreciate your time.